On today's video, we are going to talk about Honolulu. Honolulu is big. Honolulu is complicated. It takes up a lot of the space on the island. Where does Honolulu start? Where does Honolulu end? What are the different towns within Honolulu, the different neighborhoods, and what makes them different? What does that mean for you if you're thinking about living in Honolulu? It's just hard to park here. You might not have a washer and dryer in your unit. What is considered town is Hawaii Kai Town, Kalihi, Manoa, Punchbowl, Nu'uanu, Alamoana, Kaka'ako, Waikiki. The answer is Hi, Mahe Kahale with Core Team Hawaii here. There are a lot of neighborhoods whose zip codes are different, but their town, their neighborhood, their address says Honolulu, Hawaii. So today we're gonna talk about that. So Salt Lake and Moanalua are kind of the beginning areas of Honolulu, which is kind of weird because I think if you ask a local, like, oh, you live Moanalua, they're not gonna say, I live in town. They're gonna say, oh, I live in Moanalua, or I live in Salt Lake. So we've got Moanalua Gardens, we've got Tripler Hospital right in that area. We have Mapuna Puna. Okay, funny, because Hawaiians are known for being wayfinders and seafarers and navigators, right? But when we give directions on land, we're not the best at it. I have lived here my entire life. I could not tell you the numbers of any exit. Like somebody's like 26A or whatever. I'm like, no, nah, no. This is gonna be helpful if you do move to Oahu, if you do move to Honolulu, because Honolulu's huge. If you're trying to figure out, oh yeah, I'm moving to this apartment. There's this place in Honolulu and a local person or somebody you're asking a friend might not know exactly where that street is, but they can help you with landmarks. Uh, for instance, we'll use like the geography of the island. So you're gonna hear me, you're gonna hear everybody say, Mauka or Makai a lot of the time. Mauka means towards the mountains. Makai means towards the ocean. We're gonna use the H1, our freeway, as like a major landmark for us. Mauka of the freeway, if we look up, we have the Ko'olau mountain range. So the Ko'olau mountain range is sort of like anything Makai of that, anything towards the south shore of that, that is considered Honolulu, that is town. You hop over the Ko'olau Mountains towards the east side, now you're on the windward side of the island. You are no longer in Honolulu. That mountain range there is sort of the borderline that kind of cuts you off from the east side, from windward side of Oahu to Honolulu. On the other side, we've got Kaneohe, we have Kailua. If you keep going north, you hit all the way to the north shore. You go Ka'ava, uh, Kahuku, all of that stuff that way, Laie. If you go more south, on that side of the island, you're gonna hit Kaneohe, Kailua, Waimanalo. So when we come around that bend, around Waimanalo, where Sea Life Park is, where Makapu Beach is, where uh, Sandy Sandy's is, and then we come around and we're now in Hawaii Kai. Hawaii Kai is Honolulu. That's Honolulu zip code. It says Honolulu on your address when you're in that area. Where it kind of ends around that bend, around that part, that portion of the island, is where it kind of is a little blurry. Does it end at Sandy's? Does it end at Makapu? Uh, we weren't sure, but we looked up the Sea Life Park right around the edge, and that is apparently Waimanalo. So we know Hawaii Kai puts you solid in Honolulu, but once you kind of wrap around that bend there, you are now on the east side of the island. So the borderline is kind of like that Hawaii Kai bend there right around the corner. Here in Hawaii, local people use the term town very loosely. It's all Honolulu, so the lines are kind of blurred and it really depends on who you talk to. Downtown would probably be like Makai, so ocean side of the freeway, Punchbowl, Kapiolani, um, Kaka'ako, Ala Moana, Waikiki. Actually, mm, I don't really think Kaka'ako is downtown, maybe Kaka'ako is like the end of downtown. Again, this is to my bias, to somebody from the North Shore who is not a townie townie. Me? Would you consider this to be downtown? We're in Ward Village right now. I was about to ask you that. I don't really consider this downtown. This is town. This is town. town. If you're on the other side, you're on the Malka side of the freeway, I don't really consider that downtown. Me, Mahe, Kahale. I do not consider that downtown. The deeper into the valleys you get, it's, it's wetter, you got more rain there, um, more single family houses up in that area. Through the peaks and valleys there, that's where you're gonna get a different vibe. We need to like enlist uh, like a townie townie, like somebody who actually grew up in Honolulu to see kind of what they consider to be Honolulu. 
Let's talk about the different areas in Honolulu and who it might be a good fit for. Now the Salt Lake area, not a lot of people know, but there are actually a lot of condo buildings in that area. Probably it's proximity to Pearl Harbor, but we've had kind of like a lot of PCSing, younger military guys, single guys who have just been looking for maybe a one bedroom, maybe a two bedroom, so that they can have family stay over, but affordable. Threes, 400s, actually not a super competitive area of the market either. Even when the market was very, very hot a few months ago, we were able to get in there without using like ridiculously, you know, wild special terms like we had been having to use with our buyers or just whatever it took to like make us a little bit more attractive to have that step up. Salt Lake is kind of like a secret little gem, um, the very beginnings of Honolulu, which might be a good idea if you are either looking for a starter home, a starter condo, um, a smaller one, if you don't need a ton of extra space, if you don't need it to be a fancy brand new build. It's very close to Pearl Ridge. It's very close to Pearl Harbor. It's an easy commute into town, downtown Honolulu, because you're already past the bottleneck in the Pearl City area where everyone from the west side comes together headed into town. So it's a pretty easy commuter. It's also easy to get the other way of the island towards North Shore. If you're going to um, Schofield, if you're commuting to Queens West on, you know, in Eva Beach, it's a pretty central location, Honolulu, but the very beginnings of Honolulu. So when we say, oh yeah, the commute to town is really, really hard. We're not really talking about Salt Lake. We're not really talking about Moana Lua. Another area we didn't really talk about was San Island which is also considered Honolulu. You don't really even consider it to be town because nobody really hangs out in San Island. You're not going to San Island unless you work there. Um, I think we used to like have canoe paddling practice there in that area, but like before that, I had never been in that area. We also have the Kapiolani area, the Punchbowl, the Nu'uanu area, um, even Chinatown. So these are four different, you know, little areas, but they're all kind of close in proximity and they all have sort of similar products as far as buildings, as far as the condos available. Probably a little bit older buildings. We talked about it in our downtown video that we, that Derek and I just did. We had, you know, multiple clients in the last six months really kind of hone in on that area. Now it's just outside of luxury. It's just outside of fancy new construction here in Honolulu. So your price points are still manageable, but you still have a relatively nice newer build. So when we say newer in Hawaii, we use that term very loosely because old to us is like a 1930s, 1940s plantation, uh, single wall style construction with louvered windows. So Sometimes we'll say, yeah, it's a newer building. You know, it's nicer in town, da, 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 da. We, we might mean like 90s. We might mean like 80s. We've had clients who um, are in the Kapiolani area. We had the Kinos, you know, end up in the Kapiolani area. They live town, work west. So they're making use of the ContraFlow because you are kind of in the Kapiolani area you're in town. You are really going to be figuring out what is the feasible, the acceptable amount of time I wanna sit in traffic. What time of day do I start work? Am I gonna be battling the same traffic that everybody is battling? Now, if you live in town, you work in town, not too bad. Yes, you will experience local traffic because there's a lot of influx of people driving into downtown to get to work. But if you're contra flow, if you're heading out the other direction towards the west side, towards the north side, you're not going to be dealing with as much traffic that way. We've got Matt and Julia who also ended up just across the side of a vineyard. Lower price points. I don't want to misspeak, but I want to say like around the 400 zone or right under that. Um, more original, so not super renovated, but really well cared for. You know, the older buildings in Kapiolani, Punchbowl, Nu'uanu, they might have like a really nice lawn. They might have like a pool or something like that, but they usually don't have the amenities that luxury has as far as like a sauna, a, a huge fitness center. Sometimes these older buildings are going to have like community laundry. You know, they don't have in-unit laundry facilities. So that's one thing that you want to consider for downtown or for Honolulu. A lot of people have it on their must-haves. Like we absolutely need to have an in-unit washer and dryer. If it's an older building in a really like downtown part of Honolulu, you might not have a washer and dryer in your unit. So make sure you ask us so that we can look into it for you. Parking as well. Usually you're gonna have one designated parking. Downtown Honolulu, it's just hard to park here. So having a designated stall is going to be really important to a lot of people. Unless of course you're living in like a Chinatown area and you work in Straub and you only need to walk around. Let's talk about Ala Moana and Kaka'ako. So Kaka'ako, Ward Village, that's where we're at right now. We have 
more luxury, you are now closer to the coastline, you are now more Makai, you start to get into buildings that have views. So the buildings are higher rise, they're, they're taller. Maybe in the Punchbowl area, it is a seven to 10 foot building. Here in Kaka'ako, here in Ward Village, you're gonna get up to the 40 stories in these buildings. You're going to have um, amenity decks that make use of being able to see the ocean. You're gonna have buildings strategically placed in order to make the best use of where you are, what your view is. Usually one, maybe two parking stalls, depending on where you're at. Higher up you go in the building, better views, higher price points. Closer you get to the water, better views, higher price points. You also need to consider what side of the building am I on? Am I on the east side? Am I on the diamond head facing side? Am I on the west side? Am I on the Honolulu Harbor facing side? Some people prefer that side too because sometimes you get a better sunset view from that side. So different preferences, different price points, depending on how you value or what you place priority and value on. Um, that's going to actually make a difference. So if you need help deciding what things are important to you, if you're going to live in a high rise, ask us, let me know. Maybe you're older. Maybe if the electricity goes out, you don't want to walk down 30 stories to get down. Maybe you want to be on a lower level floor. Maybe a view isn't that important to you. Reach out to us, let us know. We'd love to help you kind of decide what are the things that are going to be important when we're considering downtown for you. So we've already done videos on Moanalua, Salt Lake, Kalihi Valley, Makiki, Manoa, we did Downtown, Ward, Kaimuki, Diamond Head and Kahala, Hawaii Kai. But the one area that I know you guys are waiting for that we haven't dropped yet is Waikiki. So that's kind of its own thing. It's a huge part of Honolulu. It's historically really important to us here. We're not gonna get into it too much today, but that's coming soon. Honolulu is big. Honolulu is complicated. It takes up a lot of the space on the island. Maybe you have questions that I didn't quite answer in today's video. If that's the case, as always, hit us up, go to our website, courtteamhawaii.com, fill out the contact form. If you'd like to meet with me to do a, a virtual consultation so you can ask these questions, we'll take a deeper dive into Honolulu and whether or not it's a good fit for you, please reach out to us, we would love to hear from you.